Hello friends! I am surrounded by beauty and beauty products. Makeup, yeah. Yes. Uh, this is Laura Sanchez and I am Perez Hilton and we are going to do something that I've never done before so I'm super duper duper excited about that and also because it involves my mom and doing something special for her for Christmas. I thought it'd be fabulous to give her a glam makeover for the holidays and Laura is an expert but you know, when I watch a lot of these experts on YouTube, their videos are so edited mm -hmm. and I'm excited to do something in real time so that you watching at home can see what it really takes to accomplish a look. Yeah, like something that I notice is like now you see all those Instagram posts and everything and they do so many steps to get a nice look, but you don't need, you don't need to complicate yourself. You don't need to go through all these steps and use that much product to make someone look nicer and feel better. So that's kind of what I do on my YouTube channel because I try to teach people how to do makeup. And if you teach them with like so many steps and everything is so difficult, they're not, they're not gonna wanna try it. So I try to do something simple but that makes you look nice and that looks professional. How long have you been doing videos for? Videos, maybe like, six years I, I See, was it takes posting, a while wow. yeah yeah I was posting videos maybe just once a month because I, I I'm a makeup artist so I was working doing makeup in sets doing photo shoots and I didn't have the time but now I do two or three videos a week and it takes forever editing filming do you edit them yourself yeah everything wow mm -hmm. when you started where were you living at the time Colombia in yeah Colombia doing makeup for artists there yeah i was working on tv i was working doing um commercials doing photo shoots magazines like everything normal that a makeup artist will do i was doing brides as well and big market yeah <laughs> I people liked always it. getting married yeah i liked it but before before i got into makeup i always loved internet and social media and i loved my space i would stay up all night doing all the codes and everything I love that. So I wanted to do something related, and then one day I found this YouTuber, Michelle Fan. She was doing oh, yeah. videos. Is she still and, around? Yeah, she's okay, still okay. around. <laughs> that was no diss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's still around, and she does. But but she was the only YouTuber I found, and I didn't find anyone in Spanish. So I was like, okay, why not? And I'm sure people is gonna like it. They're gonna watch it. And yeah, I think I was not to, not to brag, but I think I was kind of the first girl doing videos in Spanish in Colombia. Wow. Videos. And now are there a lot more doing them in Spanish or are you still kind of like the only one? No, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot millions, now? Yeah, yeah. But you were the first. I was the first. I love that. And how I did, think I was the first. I don't know. How did you learn makeup? Did you go to school for it? or did Yes. You, some um, people pick it up on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's wild too. Like now I see like like a lot of boys too. Like 14 year old boys. Like just... 10 year old. Or yeah, like they're just doing makeup and they just... But through videos, they learn through videos. It's why yeah. like you're teaching the future of the world. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, I I got into makeup because I went to Vancouver to study English, oh. and um, I had some friends that were doing film. They were studying film, and I was helping them with makeup. I was not good at all, but they were boys, so they didn't know how to put makeup on. So I was <laughs> helping them, and then I started liking it a lot. Then they were doing like videos with zombies and blood and I was helping them Googling how to make blood, how to make zombies. And then I was like, you know what? I really like this and I always, I always been like into art. And I researched a little and I found out Vancouver was one of the places where they shoot most movies and Yeah, yeah, yeah. And TV series. shows, yeah. yeah. So I got in this school called Blanche McDonald Center and that's where I did my makeup artistry diploma. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been in Los Angeles for now? Almost four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Well, really exciting to have you here in my mom's house. Let's just start, shall we? Come Yay. on over, mom. <laughs> I'll be behind you. Wait, you're gonna probably need this. I'll film. I'll flip this around. In your face yeah. and ask good questions. Yeah, you guys can ask me whatever you want. Yo estoy en las manos de Laura ahora. <laughs> so, mom's face is real clean. Nothing nothing at the beginning. Nothing. nothing. I just apply a little moisturizer and a primer, just like to have her skin prep. And What's a primer? I'm going to be real stupid. <laughs> okay, moisturizer is just to hydrate her, her skin. So okay. it's more glowy and healthy. And a primer, there's different uses for primers. Is that like a spray misty thing? No, it's a cream. Oh, it's a cream? Yeah. 
So you can use primers just to make your makeup last longer. You can oh. use primers to modify your skin. You can use primers to uh, fill in pores. There's many uses. So what I put in your mom was just a brightening um, primer. You see like the skin looks glowy and healthy. So that's what I did. And now let's start with the eyes. Now Ooh. what, um, you'll tell us what brand you're using. Yes. Do you so, use all sorts of different ones? Yeah. I'm not like married to one single brand. I like trying everything. So the primer that I use is from Becca. Okay. I love Becca. I love their primers and their foundations. And I'm going to start with her eyes. Wait, since I have you here. Yeah. You have a bunch of makeup brushes here. Yes. Kylie Jenner is selling some makeup brushes for $360. How much should makeup brushes really cost somebody? Well, I think I can buy a full set from MAC for that, that money. And MAC is like a brand that has been around for years. So MAC charges that much too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. MAC is expensive, but it's MAC, you know? Kylie, Kylie's selling to teenagers and I don't know, like I think it's so expensive, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't buy that. So now we're putting some eyeshadow on? I'm putting powder. I like, powder. I like putting powder first because it helps me to blend the eyeshadows better. So just normal powder, you can use powder And powder doesn't powder. have color. <laughs> this one has a little, because it's like a powder foundation. Okay, so this and one that brand is what? This is NYX. NYX, okay. NYX is NYX. I'm learning as we go too. Laura va a ser un milagro. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make you look so pretty. Thank you, thank you, eres muy linda. My mom like never does her makeup, so this is a real treat. Never? Never. never. Although if you look, oh my God, can we see? A long time, my mom had her lips like tattooed. Yeah. Oh, long time ago. And her eyes. eyes. She had her eyes tattooed. Long that's time ago. So, I love it. No, no, Not that's so me. bad. Let me see. Oh, God. Did it hurt? Did it hurt Poquito. you? Poquito. Poquito? Poquito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just adding now a light brown foundation. I mean, eyeshadow. And these are from Tarte Cosmetics. I love their eyeshadow and all the eye products they have. It's really nice. And I'm just putting it here. This is called the crease of the eye and it's right under the brow bone. And I'm just doing this so I can like give some dimension to the eyes. And I can create like a transition for all the eyeshadows that I'm gonna apply. Ooh, transition, transition. fancy word. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I'm really into warm colors right now. So I'm gonna add another another kind of um, brown, but this is like a more orange, like a caramel color. And I'm gonna keep, keep adding. I like putting the eyeshadow more like on the outer corner and just blend it in. So see how I just add some brown eyeshadow and it makes a difference already? Yeah warm yeah and because she has green bluish eyes it looks really pretty using warm colors i think i'm going to do something kind of purple on her Ooh. well not purple more like mauve que cambio <laughs> we haven't seen yourself yet. I'll have to flip the camera around <laughs> at the end for the big reveal. I brought a big mirror for you. Oh, you brought a mirror yeah. even better. I'm going to be excited. <laughs> Do you go to all of those like makeup conferences and the, the Yeah, like that's one, of, that's one of the biggest reasons why I like being here because the job that I do, I can be anywhere in the world. It's just online. But I like going to the events, the makeup lounge, makeup lunches, like all the products. Um, there's one event called BeautyCon and it's yeah, really yeah. fun because you get to meet new brands. If you're an influencer, you get to meet the PR of each brand and you can make connections. It's really good. And that's a different eyeshadow now? Yes. This is a cream eyeshadow and this is from Colourpop. And I love these single eyeshadows because they're creamy and they are so pigmented. And I like putting them with my finger. I normally use brushes for everything, but these cream eyeshadows, I like using my finger. And I would imagine though, like if you're using a cream eyeshadow and you mess up, that's kind of hard to take off, right? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't mess up. Well, one of the reasons why I do the eyeshadow first is because if you see, like, there's a mess down here with the eyeshadow because it flies everywhere. So I like doing the eyes first, and then I can clean up underneath with the with the um, concealer. Okay. So it looks more clean and nice. Yeah, because most. But you people... shouldn't be afraid of the cream, people. The cream eyeshadow. No, it so does nice. look very different. Yeah, and they're more easy to blend because they're creams. So you can just um, use your finger and blend it, and it looks really nice. You see how shiny it looks. Yeah. Mom, you won't be able to wash your face for a few days. Pronto ustedes van a ver los resultados. You will see soon. <laughs> so I just kind of press it and pack it in the eyelid. And you do the eyes before, like, you do the face? Yeah, everything. I do always the eyes first because I can clean up under. Huh. So, yeah, because every time I use eyeshadows, they, they fly everywhere. Oh. They fall on your skin. So if I, I can do foundation first, but then I have to clean it up. And sometimes it looks, like, messy. And okay. I don't like that. I like learning. Laura is toda una professional. <laughs> Una pro. Una profesional de caché. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just applying here on the eyelid. And then with the same brush that I applied the brown eyeshadow, I just blend again up here. So it doesn't look super harsh. Because I'm using, like, really dark colors on her, but I still want it to look natural. Yeah, well, it doesn't look that yeah, dark. Yeah, it doesn't look that dark, see? <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to blend really well so it doesn't look harsh. And I like that this eyeshadow has like a little sparkle, but it's nothing too crazy. So you can you can wear this at night or even in the afternoon. Cocktail hour. Yeah, maybe not in the morning. But <laughs> I would wear that in the morning, but you know how people don't like using like really dark colors or shimmer in the day. Okay. And I'm gonna use a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna run it through her lashes so they look more full. This is all moving along quite quickly. I thought it was gonna take forever. <laughs> no, I'm really quick at playing makeup. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, <laughs> we were in this show this morning in Telemundo, and they gave me like 30 seconds to do my sister's makeup. 30 seconds? Yeah. No. So I did I did most of it, and then I leave one eye without makeup, so I could just show on camera how to do it, and I was like running and throw makeup on her. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Today I'm not going to wash my face. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that before you started, there really weren't people doing... Spanish language makeup videos because it's no. such a big market. Yeah, like, I saw a couple a couple people doing more like vlogs or like sure. DIYs, but I couldn't find anyone doing makeup. At least in Colombia. So I was like, why not? Okay. I'm gonna start doing the foundation now. What are we using? I'm using NARS for the okay. foundation. This is a new foundation. They just they just launched, and it's a full coverage foundation that lasts 16 hours. Oh wow! When I do makeup, that's the only thing I wear. Foundation? Yeah, not even. I, I use like a like a, a or a tinted moisturizer. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. It's really light. I like real simple. <laughs> 
Although back in the day I used to do wilder things. Like what? Oh, everything. Like I would, you know, dye my hair all crazy colors. I would do my own guy liner. That was about it. But maybe maybe I could be a, a beauty blogger myself in the future. Not yeah, really. <laughs> I love the guy liner. Okay, so I like just using a brush just to apply it on the face and then use a beauty blender to uh, blend it. Because I feel it looks better on the skin, it looks more natural. And with the brush, you get like this, like the shape of the little hairs on the face and I don't like that. With the sponge, like the sponge has little pores, so it kind of leaves the skin looking like skin. Mm. Is that your phone, Mom? No, sir. You're very busy, usually. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically the the new wedge, or you know, back in the day, like when I used to get my makeup done for things, they'd have like those little like wedges. Yeah, like like triangle. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fancier version of that. <laughs> yes, I I used to use those also when I was in makeup school, but I like this because it's rounded and it doesn't leave like the the lines of the sponge. But it's, yeah, it's basically the same as a sponge. And I met does does makeup work in trends? Like, what's what's very trend? Is there a trend that's very popular right now? Well, right now because it's Christmas, it's December. Glitter, glitter, um, metallic eyeshadows, and I think next year everything is gonna be about glitter, like um, glitter lipstick, glitter liners. Um, the highlighters are also really popular right now. Are I'm gonna girls... put some on your mom. So oh. You can see it. Are girls still doing the airbrushing? They do. It's just like it's it's difficult. Like it's, it's the not Kardashian effect. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not something that you can do at home. No, you need to have somebody to do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people like doing their own makeup now. Everyone is like an expert now with Instagram <laughs> and YouTube. Okay, so something that I like to do is I use like a lighter foundation and I put it in the center of the, of the face and then I put a darker foundation around the face so That's... it looks warmer. Oh, I thought that was to get rid of wrinkles. She knows what she's, <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. That's a, that's a fun little trick. I yeah, hope I love you guys are paying attention. And it's funny because every time I do my makeup on YouTube, and I get new followers, they always tell me, like, your foundation is, like, too light for you. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but it's, like, what I do, so I don't have to highlight later and add more product. I just use a lighter foundation, and then I use darker foundation around my face. And I'm not contouring, I'm just warming up the skin. Just very little. And same thing, I use it, I apply it with my brush. And that's not contouring? No, this is not contouring. What's the diff what, what, what is contouring then? I'll show you when I when I do contouring. Oh, right? okay. But I'm just putting it everywhere. It does, it does a little contour. Like it works a little as a contour, but it's not contouring. What does that have to do with anything, Mom? It will be very lindo. A great change. Remember that I'm old. A great change. You're not even 65 yet. You're not retirement age. 64. Gross. I gave you some money to, or some gift certificates to get facials for your birthday. Oh, yes, I have to go. You haven't used that yet? No. Not That'd yet. be good for your skin. Yes, I will do it. this way. And this point you use, it's just like kind of bouncing in the skin. Like that and making rolls. You're just rolling it. So the difference between contouring what I'm doing is I'm using a warmer foundation, like a warmer tone, so kind of yellowy, orangey, 
just to make her look a little tanner on the outer, like the outer, I don't know, the outer corner. The outer, yeah, yeah. Yeah, outside of her face. Sure. So the center looks lighter and it looks more highlighted. But when you contour, you try to use neutral colors, kind of like grayish colors, so they look more like shadows, like a natural shadow under the cheekbones. Grayish under colors. The I usually thought people used like white. People use, yeah, they use white. That's more for like theatrical, more for the drag nose. queens. Oh, drag queens. All right. Maybe that's why I'm thinking makeup. white. <laughs> more, what else? More newscasters, they use a lot of white under their eyes because they, wanna, they want their eyes to pop because they want people to concentrate on their eyes. Oh. So they highlight a lot of their eyes. And it looks, it looks good on TV. It can look good on TV. In person, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> Or if someone takes a photo of you with flash, it doesn't look good. <laughs> See what I did? So I just add some warmer foundation and I blend it really well. Because sometimes what foundation does is it makes your face look completely flat. Like you look like you don't have a nose, you don't have cheekbones, you don't have neck, you don't have a jaw. So I like using different colors. Oops. Okay, now that I have that, we're gonna use the powder that you were saying without color. And that's just to set the foundation? Exactly. That's just to get rid of the shine and make it last longer. One of my favorite makeup looks I, I don't see it as much anymore. I forget the name of the person who used to do it. Or like, Hilary Duff used to go to yeah. this one makeup artist and she would always look so dewy. I love, I love a, dewy look. I love yeah. a dewy look. It's not very trendy right now for some reason. I feel like people want to look too mad. And it can look nice like on photos. On photos when in person it looks like the skin is too dry and it doesn't look healthy. So I like adding the powder just to mod modify the skin a little, but it's more so the foundation doesn't move it anywhere. And then I'll, I'll add the highlighter that I was telling you, and that makes the skin look glowy and like more healthy. So just a little. Have you seen this technique? On Instagram where they add like a lot of powder in their face it's called baking oh no yeah it's crazy so they grab like the sponge and they dip it in the powder like dip it in the powder and they they put the powder all over the face and what's and that supposed to do it's supposed to keep you matte longer but I don't know like I don't feel it's necessary like you can just add powder later it's not I don't know I don't like doing that, and my skin is really dry, so if I do that, I don't know, I'll look like a mummy. <laughs> okay. So now the skin is matte. I want to add a little glow so it doesn't look super dry. And what's that product? So this is a highlighter. It's from Fenty Beauty. This is Rihanna's brand. Ooh, that one's gotten really good buzz. The Rihanna yeah. one. You like her products? I love her products. Yeah. Um, her foundation is a little dry for my skin, but it might work on people that have more oily skin. And if I use it, I can use it. But I have to moisturize a lot. So turn that way, please, and lift your head up. So now, when you're making your videos. Do you're not just telling people how to, but do you also give like reviews of the products? Yeah, those are the videos I love the most. Reviews. Like, and are you, do you, you're real honest? I'm really honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really honest. I get people upset at my channel because I'm too honest with the products. Because sometimes they love a brand so much and they don't like when I say bad things about the brand. So they get upset. Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this way. I wanted, I, I, I asked my mom for makeup from her to do a fun makeup thing once and she only had two products. What were the two products you had, mom? Clinique? No, what, what, what from oh. them? Oh, 
Number one. Foundation. Could, yeah, Clinique La Foundation. Base. Yeah, and then you had what else? Oh, no, and you had three products. You had, you had eyeshadow, which uh -huh. didn't even work. I think it was what? so old it stopped working. Maybe it was dry? Yeah, it was too dry. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I never use it. What about like if you have a party or something or in Christmas? Eh, yo, eh, yo tengo un foundation, foundation yo tengo. <laughs> That's Pero all I'll do. No Sí, yo sí uso moisturizer. Lo voy a salir sin. Oh, yeah, that's good. Moisturizer, sí. That's not makeup, though, mom. No mucho. She could use like a tinted moisturizer, like the one you use, if she doesn't want to apply too much makeup. Okay, now I'm going to contour. So see how this looks kind of almost gray? It's brown, but it's like grayish, because it's more of a cool tone. And what's that brand? This is, this is Too Faced. Okay. And it's a matte powder. Uh, two faces. Me before and now a new me. <laughs> yes, two faces. You will see. That's a nice metaphor, yeah. <laughs> Confien en, en Laura. So for contouring, I'll just apply the, the powder under her cheekbones and I'll drag it like closer to her nose. And I'm like kind of like sculpting the cheekbone, like making the shape of the cheekbone. And that's gonna help um, make her cheekbones pop more. And it's also gonna warm up the skin a little more. Also right here under the, the jawline. To get rid of a double chin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And it also helps, like when you, what I was saying, when you take a photo, sometimes it looks like your, your neck and your face is the same thing with the flash. So if you contour here a little, it looks better. It looks like you have a neck and a face. <laughs> now here too. So I don't know if you can tell the difference in the camera, but you can see like her cheekbones oh, yeah, look totally. more. Sculpt it. Turn your face the other way too now, just so we can see side by side contrast. You can also add a little under the tip of your nose so it looks more lifted. And the sides. And this is to make your nose like a little more um, like slimmer. So you just make videos now and, and Instagram or do you work every once in a while doing makeup too for people? Yeah, every once in a while, but everything comes from because of my YouTube channel. So I've done collabs on my YouTube channel with artists. Sometimes I go to events, Latin Grammys, um, movies, movie premieres. Because the top makeup artists, the ones that work with like the Divas, the Mariah Carey's and that, they charge like 10, 000, I don't need oh, a yeah, lot of money per know. day. Yeah. Crazy money. They do and people that do brides, they also charge a lot of money. They For do? For weddings, yeah. Because you do the bride, the you can do everybody mom, else too. Yeah, the yeah. sister, everyone. Okay, what else? Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna finish her eyes. And I'm gonna add the same the same brown shade that I put on her eyelids, the caramel color. I'm gonna apply it under her lower lashes. So mira por arriba. Oh yeah, I can see the tattoo now. <laughs> I thought it was eyeshadow that you put. No. <laughs> so because she has small eyes, I like putting it just in this corner so it doesn't look like you're closing out the eyes more. Like that. ¿Alguna vez te has puesto pestañas? Sí. Te voy a poner. Ay, Dios, qué caché. <laughs> <laughs> qué caché.
Get right so, I'm going to give her some lashes. And During the this. full makeover treatment, yes. mom. Oh. Lashes I'm make diva. such a difference because <laughs> they open up your eyes. Okay. And it looks really cute. Let me get my glue. So this is the glue that I like using. It's dual. I think this brand has been around forever. And now they made this liquidy glue that you apply with um, like a little brush. And it dries faster. I don't know if you've seen the other duo uh, glue. It comes like in a tube. It is really good, but it takes forever to dry. So I like more this version because it's faster. So you let it get a little sticky. Abra tu eyes. Y yo te aviso cuando los puedas abrir, bueno. Okay. Gracias. I'm gonna cut them a little because they're too long. That's something really important because people sometimes they buy lashes and they don't they don't cut them and they're too big for their eyes. So they end up like uh, feeling uncomfortable and looking weird. So I like cutting them to the size, the perfect size, the perfect fit. Get open. See how it looks so different? And do you just put yeah. lashes on the top? Yeah, just on the top. Close your eye. I'm gonna push them a little. You can use lashes on the bottom, but if that's more like when you have like a really dark makeup, because then you can see them sometimes because they have like a little uh, line where they're attached. Have you done your own collaborations with makeup lines or is that something you're working on or? Yes. You're doing your own? I'm working in my own line, yes. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, That'll come out next year? Hopefully. I think I think it's going to come out next year. I was having a lot of meetings with different labs and different companies to see which one I like better. And it's a whole process because you have to do a lot of research. And then it's also a lot of money, a lot of time. So yeah, we're working on that right now. And hopefully next year I can, I can have my line really excited for that. Entrepreneur. Close your eyes. Open. See? Nice. Close. Okay, déjalo cerrado mientras se seca el pegante. Okay. And now, the lashes are dry now, so I'm going to go and work on her eyebrows. So this is from Benefit, and Benefit makes the best eyebrow products, I love them. That's just a brush. That's the brush, and on the other side you get the, the little liner, the eyebrow pencil. Oh. And it has like a um, angular shape, so it's easier to paint your, your eyebrows with this. It's actually called Goof Proof Brow Pencil. <laughs> So I like really dramatic eyebrows, but we're gonna do something more natural. Wow, my mom never does her eyebrows. It's such yeah, a difference. Yeah, you might think she looks a little weird no, first, I but like then, it. it looks such yeah. a, so different. And eyebrows are so important because they frame your face in your eyes. They, they did it to me a few years ago, don't you remember? In your party? You've had your makeup done a few times for special occasions. Yeah, for special occasions. Oh, well, that's good. But you like makeup. They will stop. Mm -hmm. See? She's just lazy. No, I don't know how to do it, so... You can watch my videos. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah, that will learn. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm doing like really lightly and then brushing the hairs. You get your eyebrows done though, Mom, right? Yeah. Like plucked or whatever. Plucked. What do they do? Threaded? They wax them or? No, wax it and tinted. 
tinted. Oh, but your tints don't last very long. No, only a few you know, weeks. Let me, look at the, let me let's do a side by side. Look at the difference that makes. Wow. Wow, yeah, it's all he, coming together. He even kind of like lifts the eye here. Yeah. Like the higher you make the arch, the more lifted it looks. Yeah, the younger you look mm -hmm. too. <laughs> Laura's the best. So I'm just following her natural shape that she has. And I'm using also like a lighter brown color. And even if you have black hair, try not, try not to use black pencil for your eyebrows because it looks too harsh. Maybe using a darker brown, like a really, really dark brown. It looks better than using black, like straight in your eyebrows. So I just follow the shape and now I'm gonna see her from the front and kind of match them better. Cause eyebrows are always different. So I like just looking them both at the same time and kind of make them look similar. So these eyebrows like more rounded and this one is more angular. So I'm just gonna make this one more rounded because like rounded eyebrows make your face look more, make look, make your face look younger and like more soft than angular eyebrows. And why do you keep using the other side of that? What does that do, the other side? It helps you like uh, calm the hairs and blend. Oh, it's so, okay. So that's blending. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is like a mascara brush. So if you don't have something like this, you could just use like an old mascara and clean the brush and just use it on your eyebrows. Now we're gonna do her lips. And I love this one. This is from Kylie. I like her lipsticks though. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kylie and this is the color uh, Posi K. And it's a really, I think it's kind of the same color that I have. And you so don't do a lip liner thing? No, with liquid with matte lip, liquid lipsticks, you don't need a lip liner. You need a lip liner when you use the normal lipsticks, the cream lipsticks. Because sometimes they bleed, kind of, they, they go out of the lips. But these don't. So um, this, is a, this is a liquid one though? Liquid, yeah, matte will, liquid lipstick. And it'll last a long time. Yes, you can eat, you can drink, you can kiss. <laughs> This is a really cute pink color. Open your mouth a little. Yes. Okay, you look like a new person, Mom. Qué linda. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. The and the last thing I want to do is apply this. This is from MAC and it's called Fix Plus. And you can use this for everything. You can use it as a primer before you apply all the makeup and you can use it at the end. And what it does is get that effect that you like the dewy skin, skin effect. And let's say I put a lot of powder and I spray this and it kind of gets rid of the powder texture. So it, it looks more soft and more natural. 
So I'm gonna spray something on your face, okay? Now you let it dry. And see how the highlighter that I put on her, on her nose and on the sides, it looks better, like it pops more. Yeah. Open your eyes. Qué linda. Gracias a ti. ¿Te quieres ver? Sí. Que no sea de aumento, por favor. No. Me da mareo. Here we go. Ta da da da. Me gusta. Me encanta. Es muy linda. Qué diferencia. My favorite is the eyebrows. The eyebrows, yeah. You gotta do your eyebrows every once in a while, mom. Okay. I will. You now know how to do it. It's not that hard. No, it's easy. And you have a great shape. Like I just feel in your eyebrows. Tienes la forma muy bonita. Solo te las tiene un poquito más oscuras y ya. Y ya. Wow. Qué diferente. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming thank over. You. Thank, thank you, you guys for watching. So many of you tuned in. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you follow Laura all over social media. And um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> you look so good. I just gotta, I just gotta keep looking at your face. It looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Muchas gracias. Bye.